Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Glaze. This is episode 30 or more of an extra episode. And if you want to know what we're doing in Palmwood Resort, or Palm Tree Resort, it's because we're going to go after some legendaries. Um, I had, I, I was stupid and I kind of walked here from uh, the last place. But we have the egg in our party. We have a haunch crow on top of that. And I'm going to go see if I can buy an escape rope somewhere because... I feel like we might need that. Nope. Alright. Well, let's get Honchkrow off the team now because we're not going to need him. Uh, I also believe that there's a PC at the place we're going to. And if not, it doesn't matter because we can't use the PC or we can't fly or use the teleport from that spot. So I'm pretty sure escape ropes won't even work, so let's not worry about it. Alright. So, if you're wondering why I'm making this episode, it's basically because there is just... I thought that the last episode I recorded, to be honest, was episode 30, and I realized that it wasn't. So I still had one more episode to go to, or I still had one episode to record. Um, so I went into this. Um, also, why did I teach Zoro Rock Smash if... Whatever. Um, I brought Zoro along so he could use Strength and Rock Smash, but I was stupid and I forgot I taught him... Uh... Whatever, so now he's only here for Rock Climb. Um, I'm trying to remember how to get to Fusion Resort. Or the Fusion, uh... Labs, because there is something waiting for us there. So let's. Um, I also picked up ten. Uh, or I don't know when I got these, uh, honestly, but we have ten max repels, and we're going to take advantage of every single one we can. Um, trying to remember where exactly to go because I didn't really know where to go the first time. So let's try going up this ladder. Nope. I feel like this is where uh, I feel like we go down. No. Ah, uh, shit. Why is this place such a freaking maze? I think this is the new place. Oh, god damn it. Let's use a little black fluid. Maybe over here and push that aside. Go up and Sorry, I'm clueless on where to go, and I think this is the right direction. Yep, now we're on the right path. You think that if you use the black flute, you know, it'd actually do something. Right. So, yeah, other than just neat, basically it's just to make sure that I have an even amount of episodes along with uh, everything else. Also, I have Waterfall, right? I don't think I know what's up there. Um, let's get rid of Rock Tomb. Since we know where the move the leader and move relearner is and doesn't involve heart scales, this might indeed be a shortcut. Um, I don't- yeah, it's a shortcut, sweet! Alright, so now that we're at Mount, the top of Mount Stratus, we need to go into Fusion Labs. Um, it's still, I guess, technically destroyed after the last time we were here. So, we need to make room on our party. So, goodbye, Zoro. Apparently we didn't need you at all. I'm sorry. Um, I feel like Zoro wasn't actually supposed to go there. I feel like there was a Pokemon that I switched him out for. Yeah. Kaiba. Whoops. 
Sorry, one of the main Pokemon that helped us out through this whole journey. We probably wouldn't make it this far if we didn't have you. Because I know if we, uh, we probably wouldn't make it this. We probably wouldn't have made it past the. Uh, to be honest, yeah, we wouldn't even have made it past the uh, Water type gym if we didn't have Gardevoir with us. Again, I'm an idiot because I need to have an extra spot in my party. But I just put Gardevoir there. So I guess we'll also get rid of the shocker for now. Um, I'm keeping this elect or the egg of my party because I want it to hatch sometime during this episode. And that's right, Mew. Sigh, look at what I did. I completely wrecked these people's labs. Such destruction. I remember you. Were you there when I did this? Do you think I'm a monster? I sincerely thank you for your help. I never properly did that. You're a good person, you know that? I owe you my life debt. Whoa! You went inside one of your Pokeballs. That's right, we have you as a Pokemon now. Um, I don't know if we're gonna nickname him, to be honest. I didn't think I would actually make it this far. I thought there would be something wrong. Um, let's see. Oh, I, damn it, I pressed B again. So, I'll meet you at the area of the next place we need to go. And we're back at the resort. Um, the reason we're here is because there's a Pokemon that's close by that we can get to. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to have to battle it. I just kind of looked at the directions to get here. We're going to be placing all the legendaries we get in this box. Um, we're not going to be getting all the legendaries in order, of course. Um, it's mainly because I, I just want to get them while I can. And maybe have at least two fun episodes just like this. Uh, and I'm not really talking about much. I don't really know if I should, like, talk about what I have planned on for the future in my, like, my channel or what. Um, so, remember that we passed the shrine earlier. Um, and before I thought it was for, like, Mew or maybe another Pokemon. So, let's use another Repel. And it... Can you imagine how much it would suck if you used Repel and it just, like, whatever? And it tells us to put something on the shrine. I would like to etch. Let's see. Thank you. Make sure I got this correct. That was supposed to be it, what? And as before, you're supposed to set the city into the forest and go take the path past the entrance. Follow the path and you see a shrine. Etch the following sentence into the wood. Thank you. I did. Is it no spaces? I'll make sure I got this right. What the hell? Alright, I'm an idiot. Um, so, the thing I looked at said thank you dot dot dot, and apparently that's what you need to type in. But I didn't think, hey, there's not enough spaces for the dot dot dot, so I'll just put thank you. So, in actuality, it's like this. Thank. Space. You. And then you're supposed to use this symbol right here. And it's a secret like place. Um, let's see. Oh. God damn, you found me. Did you enjoy my little puzzle? What do you mean it blinked and ripped off a of Mew? Well, technically it's Mew. I'm just borrowing it. There's lots of gratitude around here, and I'm enjoying the, the gratitude, so. Did I hear you say you weren't going to catch me? Aw, oh, damn. It's only level 30. Fuck. Um... I didn't prepare for this. I don't... I don't... I haven't even saved in a while, so this is going to be... Oh, 
Leaf Blade. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep using. Oh, but Leaf Blade has a high critical chance thing. Right. So let's try an Ultra Ball. So close. Um, leaf Blade? Don't get a critical. So we need to heal up and bad. I never thought that a shame would be taken out by fucking Gengar. Can I use Giga Drain? This is... Come on! Let's see, let's try again. Shit, it was so close, too! How about Thunderbolt? Good thing I have more Pokemon with Leaf Blade. Does, does Leech Sheet have like a timer on it? <gasps> we got it! We got Shaman! Alright, the flowers all over its body burst in the bloom if it's level. I think every Pokemon that's not supposed to be in this game has a Hariyama footprint. Alright, so gratitude. Um, yeah, um. Hmm. I'm gonna call you... Huh. I, I didn't think I'd even get this far, to be honest. Um... Let's... Yeah. Actually, you know what? No. I'm gonna name you... Hedgy. Because you're a hedgehog and I'm not creative at all. Alright, so there's about... There's like one or two more Pokemon that I actually want to capture. And for the next one, we need to go to Sea Spray Town. So, I will meet you guys there. And we're back. So... Let's see. Um, so Surf for this is required as well as a good Pokemon team. So the egg is going to be put on hold for now. Along with needing Honchkrow. Um, so we're going to be facing a team of Pokemon that are 50, are level 50 I believe. And that's how we're going to receive this next Pokemon, which I believe we will be receiving at level 20. So let's... Go get let's get to it. I mean So the way to get there is there is a little soul of sand right here and we need to go to I believe the left. Uh, somewhere there is a cave. Actually, is it a cave or is it just said there'd be a really strong trainer? Right, elixir? I like elixirs, they're probably my favorite item to use in Pokemon. So let's keep following this way and see if we can... Yep, uh, this might be it, actually. Ooh, we're handy. Um, Sohil's house? Um, is this where we're supposed to go? Yep. This is where we need to go. Also, what I like while we're doing this, we're also finding a lot of Pokemon that we, uh... Or not... Pokemon, we're finding a lot of areas that we wouldn't normally explore. Um, oh, my my name is Seal. People don't usually come visit me. Not many people know, but I'm an Elite Four in a different league. Would you like to battle? Sure. I get the feeling wonderful time is about to start. I'm excited. So, in order to get this next legendary, we need to actually beat him. 
so let's hopefully shit. <laughs> oh, please don't be like last time. Go for the hyper potion. Go for the psychic. Um, we're gonna keep Kaiba in, and we're gonna go for Thunderbolt again. Gonna open Thunderbolt again. Um, Lucario. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep the we're gonna go for the psychic. Alright, um, Infernape, let's go to Kipper, and we'll even use Scald, because I, I just really like Scald, to be honest. I mean, Surf would have taken him out in one hit, but Scald is definitely a favorite move. Um, Espeon, let's go out to Spectre. And... Oh, crap, he got wrecked. Oh, I'm, so I'm so sorry about that. Uh, let's go for the Mach Punch and just knock him out. And his final Pokemon is Victini. So, if you didn't guess, this is the Pokemon that we will be receiving after we destroy him. But it will not be this specific Victini. Um, if you don't know about Victini, um, he was the first Fire Psychic Pokemon in the Pokemon franchise, and it was a pretty, very big deal. And he was actually labeled as Pokemon number zero in the Pokedex for, I think, that whole generation. Uh, I thought we thrilled. That was a very good battle. $2,000. I want to give you a gift for defeating me. Please take it. Oh, you have no room in your party. Don't worry, I'll send it into the PC. We got Victini from him. Continue forth on your journey, and please take care of that wonderful Victini. It's my favorite Pokemon, after all. So, let's look at this Victini. As you can see, it is not strong. It is very... It's level 20. Um, and those... Uh, focus Energy, Secret Fire, Endure, and Headbutt. Um, Victini is basically the victory Pokemon. Again, he is also like... Uh, uh, I want to say he's like Vmon from uh, Digimon. But a lot of people will get mad if I compare a Pokemon to a Digimon. So, back to Pokemon hunting. Uh, let me make sure that there's at least a Pokemon we can get. I didn't make a full list of all the Pokemon we could get. I just kind of went for it, you know? Um, I feel like there's one or... What the fuck? I feel like there's some Pokemon we can get that I'm just not looking at. Let's see... Alright, apparently there is! We need to go to Darkwood Town! Alright, and I don't need to say I'll see you there because, well, to be honest, it's not that far, it's not that long of a wait. So, apparently, let's go heal first. Um, I don't know what level it's going to be, so I'm going to bring, um, since Caldeo is, oh, well, I just ruined the surprise. Fuck. Um, well, let's bring Glaceon. Just to whittle, this is just basically to whittle it down, not really fight it. And uh, Victini, I mean, hey. Or not Victini, Hedgy. Right, and we're supposed to make a wish at one of these statues. And we are going to wish for... Okay, so. Justice. Alright, so... Exclamation point. Alright. So let's go down into the Cave of Justice, where we can find Keldeo. Now, this is going to be one of those longer episodes, huh? Also, I'm going to save here. 
And by save, I mean I'm gonna make five save uh, points and try saving the game, uh, just in case I fuck this up. I heard you wish. Oh uh, no, I heard your wish. I too wish for justice. Are you capable of bringing it? Let us find out. So this is a level 40 Keldeo, and if you don't know, Keldeo is a water fighting type. Um, that sprite work was bad. Um, I really don't know much about him other than he is a Sword of Justice. Um, he is... Him and the Swords of Justice are the only, and I repeat, the only fighting type Pokemon that have four legs. Um... No, this isn't, like, it's not, like, a huge, like, thing. I mean, I guess it is, but I just think it's cool that the only four Pokemon, or, yeah, the only four Pokemon that are fighting that are on four legs are these Pokemon. Um, he has no healing type moves on him, so basically we're just stuck throwing Pokeballs and Great Balls at him. Um, hopefully this goes well. Oh, let's go into Gengar. This fighting type moves can't hit me. And ah, oh, shit, that would be great. Um, I'm most worried about him using Struggle because if he uses Struggle just once, we're screwed. I'm also worried that he's gonna knock my team out. Um, I'm not sure if you ever get any chances to catch these guys again. So I'm really hoping I get them on this try. And I don't want to use my Master Ball, because I know there will be Pokemon that are way harder to catch later on. Actually, you know, just to make sure I don't use my Master Ball, um, I'm going to put it in the PC once we get back to the Pokemon Center. What about Hedgy? What can we do? Um, right, we're gonna use... Growth? Nope, that's not what I wanted to use. That growth was gonna bulk up his defenses. Come on. Come on, you stupid frickin' horse! Uh... Well, I guess I'll be right back. Alright, this is attempt number two. Um, what I did was I went back and I went to the movie learner and I taught uh, both Kaiba and Spectre Hypnosis. Um, I also brought Orden because he's kind of one of the only Pokemon we can really bring into this fight. And I'm keeping Glaceon, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Kaiba up first. I'm going to try using Hypnosis on him and then whittle him down with Leaf Blade. Ah, oh shit, I can't use Leaf Blade. God damn it. Alright, well. Hypnosis is the first thing. So now we need to bring in, I guess, Glaceon to whittle him down. I guess we should whittle him down first and then. Alright, so then we're going to use Spectre and Hypnosis. And then we're going to throw Ultra Balls at him. Come on. Come on. Hypnosis. Come on. Alright, we got it. And I know just what I'm going to call him, too. Bojack, which is kind of fitting since this is the town that we actually got that I actually got into discussion about Bojack Horseman. 
Alright, so let's go check out Bojack. So, I think, yeah, here he is. Bojack, the level 40 Caldeo. Now, I'm pretty sure I won't be using him since I had to reset the game just to get him. Um, I'm not sure yet. Uh, you guys can decide if I'm able to use him or not. Um, but basically what I want to try to do is maybe at least just use one of these legendaries that we're catching right now in the next region. Um, and, oh yeah, we need Honchkrow. And let me check to see if there's one more legendary or so that we can catch. I'm um, just kind of going as we go along. Okay, we can't get you. Alright, so there's actually two Pokemon we can go get. Three. So... There's three Pokemon we can get now, and I think after that we're done. Well, the, I think we have, for all the other Pokemon at least we need to go wait until we're uh, in Johto. But the next one is in Ocean View City. So let's find Ocean View. I believe it's somewhere. What the fuck? Where's Ocean View? Oh, here it is. I'm an idiot. Now... This one's kinda weird. Um, but we're going to need our team, probably. So, if anything, I'm going to bring you. And our main Pokemon for this, I'm probably going to make uh, Swampert. we are going after an electric type and it will be level 50. Um, what I really like is that all the Pokemon that we're finding now have uh, like a little text for them. Uh, also let's use So we don't have many Ultra Balls, too, so hopefully... Hopefully we can make this. Um, if not, I'll probably do a grinding session on that place where I can just get non-stop uh, Golden Nuggets. Just buy a shit ton of uh, Ultra Balls. But apparently on the final floor, there's a door here. Um, there's this. Oh my god, he's fucking huge! Alright, so let's make a safe state. And let's go into this. This place is where I come to recharge my dwindling electricity. Traitor! I sense power in your heart. It rivals even my own. I would enjoy the chance to battle you. Right. Now, out of all the black and white legendaries, Zekrom is my favorite. Um, I just feel like a lot of the legendaries in uh, uh, Earthquake was not a smart move. That didn't happen, guys. Nope, that didn't happen. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, out of all the black and white legendaries, this guy is definitely my favorite. Um, should I burned him? I didn't mean to do that. So this might take a few attempts. Alright, yeah, I can't use Scald. Alright, so let's see how far we can get just using Surf and Waterfall. So he's very on the one health. So let's go into Kaiba. And use Hypnosis. Right. Come on. 
No, come on. As long as he doesn't do any moves that hurt himself, he's good. We already fucked this up twice. We need to get this right. Doesn't help that he's waking up a lot earlier than he's supposed to. Or at least than I expect him to. Now, imagine if I did this with luxury balls. The Pokeballs that have the catch rate of a Pokeball, it just look pretty. Don't ask me why, but that's how I do. But look, apparently luxury balls aren't good enough to be in this game, so I uh, you guys are lucky. Probably won't be able to see them until we get to, uh... Come on. Until we get to Johto. Man, he's gonna end up resorting to struggle at some point. It's gonna suck. saw that coming. Alright, we got him! Alright, so that's our fourth? Fifth legendary? This Pokemon appears in Legends of Tale. It's a giant generator that generates electricity. Yes, and you are going to be called... Uh, Thunder... Oh no, Zeus. I believe it's Z-E-U-S-E? Okay, Google. Zeus. Yeah, I, I, it's just Z-E-U-S. Okay. So now we have Zeus the Zekron. Thunderplume. I think that actually opens up another legendary for us to catch. God damn. Uh, which one does that let us get? I believe that lets us get Zapdos. Yeah. But we can't do that until we, uh get to some other places that I've never heard of, to be honest. I feel like there's a third region that we're not, like, conscious of, and it's gonna be a really long game. Because it's mentioning a lot of places that I have no idea where they're at, and we have not been to. Oh, what's up, baby shocker? So, let's see. So, I feel like I'm going to end off this bonus episode, or, yeah, this little bonus episode here, and then just kind of get the rest of the legendaries next time we play. Um, I will play on my own time, of course, to get up some gold nuggets so that we can buy more ultra balls and have an easier time and hopefully not knock out the pokemon another four or five times but next time we're going to be going after zekrom's counterpart <sighs> reshiram which probably my least favorite dragon type pokemon out of all of them so we have one two So, so far there's only two Pokemon left that I'm looking at. Um, two... Yeah, 
The only other place we need to go is Fusion Resort, but... I don't know how to get there. So there might be five Pokemon we can get next time. Gina, we I don't think we've met them yet. Actually, all right. So right now, actually, uh, we have some. We actually have a good chunk of Pokemon we need to go catch. So, next time, which will probably be maybe Saturday, Sunday, not of this, the week of this recording, but whenever I get to it, uh, we're going to be going out and catching some more Pokemon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Legendary Hunting, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below, like, maybe what Pokemon you want us to use in Johto. Uh, I was actually thinking of Victini or uh, Shaman at the moment. Since they were like the closest down to like level 20 and 30 and I don't know how high level everything is going to be over there. But I'm really digging the idea of using at least one legendary on that new team. Since we haven't used one yet. And also what do you think is going to hatch from the egg? If you already know don't spoil it for people just put down a guess. It's a fairy type so that's all we know. Um, so yeah. Until next time. Bye bye.